the night's young and Russians are mad, so. Um, Allison. Yes, Christy. The people want to know. The people. The people, people have spoken and they want to know about Amda. Oh, okay. What do they want to know? <gasps> <laughs> Sorry. Where did this come from? Okay, so. Um, so like one of the costumes. Yeah. Air. Oh, yeah. Eric gave this to us. He was like, here's some costume jewelry I picked up. You guys want some? Oh my gosh, so, he gave you guys those? Yes. Where did that come from? Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Was he gave you ones to pick out? Yeah, or you just have these two and we're like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're doing again. So nice of Eric. I love him. Okay, so the people want to know. Yes, what do the people want to know? They want to know about AMDA. Okay. What would they like to know about it? Just about like, what is, were your feelings and like, did you love it and like, why did you leave and explain? <laughs> That's a lot. Okay. And it's great. Um, I was only there for a year because I took a semester off and I got a tour while I was there and so I didn't go back. And she was an assistant director. I was. I was. Yes. It's amazing. <laughs> Might be getting to sit. Oh, yay! Happy birthday! I hope you get tickets. Taco Bell! Taco Bell! Taco Bell is my life! Taco Bell! Who's Lily tonight? It's actually Vicky is Lily. Vicky had uh, just taken one day. She's totally fine. And uh, she's in the show. It's pretty much. The only per person out right now is Constantine, um, but we have our understudies on who are also incredible. They are. They are. We see in the show on Friday. Yeah! I'm so happy. I'll see you on Friday. Who am I seeing on Friday? Anya's Journey. I will see you on Friday. Any advice on singing Journey to the Past? Yes. What is happening? Wait, before I do this. I like the arms length where you go up and down. Like a like a grapevine. Um so when it comes there we go. There we go. Beautiful. Reminds me of cats. <laughs> <laughs> they look like jellico cats. They do. Okay, so Journey to the Past. Um, it's like a story. So you start off, it's important to show the actual journey of the story. So you start off in a place of questioning and nervousness and fear. And then I, you make that switch from fear to confidence and strength. And I like to make that switch at... Um, I will never be complete until I find you. I think that that is the biggest realization in the song because she's realizing in life there's a lot of things that are scary, but she'll never fully feel complete until she takes this leap and she goes to Paris to see for sure. And when she has that realization, I think that's when things massively shift for her and she decides she's going to, she's going to be strong. And so as long as you make that shift for yourself at some point, um, yeah. It's, it's a good life lesson, too. Like, yeah. you're not complete until you take your risks. Yeah. And, and it still doesn't mean it's not scary. It just means that you've made a decision. Right. And you're going to, and your heart is, following your heart is the most important thing. And so moving forward with strength is what you have to do. And, when, and I think when there's so much fear and so much anxiety over something, it's impossible to see that as a real possibility for yourself. Right? I agree. Yes. 
So that's my best advice about about journey to the past. Um, what about for in my dreams? Advice there. Okay. In my dreams is different because I think in my dreams is like kind of like a monologue in song. But I would say the biggest pitfall in that number is the melody is like, they said I was found by the side of a road. There were tracks on the right. So it's so easy. The What the music in, implies is it's like this very dark thing, which it is dark. What you're saying is like this dark thing that you don't remember much about your past. But you got to remember you're just talking. You're just talking to Vlad and Dimitri and you're telling your story. And not to get super over emotional about it, it's just this is my life. And then, and then it gets emotional later on because you kind. What I like to do is I sort of like to disappear into my own little. Br like you disappear to somewhere else in a way when you start talking about Paris, and you kind of go off in like a daydream, and then you come back to reality at the end, and you're just like telling them how important to you it is, and that you know for sure if you can just go to Paris, Paris, that you'll be able to remember who you are in a way. Does that make sense? So it's just like a monologue in song, and if you can find those nuanced shifts in between of the journey of the song, where it starts off informing them, and then talk going into your own world about what it could be like, you know, what Paris could be like, and then sort of with urgency explaining to them how important it is to you, and you've been through so much, but you hope and you have faith and strength over it all. Um, so... Yeah, it's kind of, it's definitely, I would say for sure, it's the hardest acting song in the show, without question. Whereas in my dreams, it, that's in my dreams. Journey to the Past, as weird as this sounds for me, I think it's intuitively the easiest as an actor because while it is hard to hold, hold the notes as long as you have to hold them, it's not in like a, a high, high, it doesn't sit super high in my voice. Whereas in my dreams, it's super high. But I would have to say the hardest sung song for me is um, Crossing a Bridge because it's one thing to belt a, belt a note really high. It's quite another thing to hold it softly with feeling for a very long time. And Crossing a Bridge has these very intimate moments where she kind of like floats on a very soft note for a very long time. And um, it took me a really long time to get to that place where I could just hold a note um, super soft um, for a long period of time. Um, and uh, yeah, now it's at that point where I finally feel like I'm giving the ba doing the band justice on how beautifully they're playing because you hear just the violin swell for so long in that number, Crossing a Bridge, and I get to like hold it to the, like, the duration of what I want now. And that took a while, but... I'm really proud of myself for getting there because it was just such, it's so rewarding now when I sing that song. Any other questions? I hope this helps. Thank you. Always a pleasure to hear all you sing. Oh, thank you. Any advice for anxiety when auditioning? Do you have an answer for this? Just be yourself. Like really, for some, as someone who sits on the other side of the table, like just come in and oh be a person. Goodness. And be yourself. I know that's like. It sounds hard, but I would say part of being yourself, the way to best do it, is start by loving yourself. Because when you're, it, when you love yourself fully, you will be yourself easier. But when you're looking at others to copy what others are doing, you get nervous because you know that you're never going to be that other person. You can only ever be your best you. So when you, what I like to do, what helps me love myself is I like to keep a list of all my accomplishments every day. So I'll wake up in the morning and I'll write down, I did the dishes, I took out the trash. And then you get to see on a day-to-day -day basis what you've accomplished and you get to grow confidence in all the little steps that you've taken towards your dream and towards being the best you you can be. And that's how you ultimately have, over time the anxiety goes away because you're able to fully live in your own skin and be your absolute best self. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, just come sit with me, girl. <laughs> Guys, relaxed, relaxed. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the cutest little huddle I've ever seen. Oh! Love yourself and love each other.
Love yourself and love each. Well, when you love yourself, it's easier to love each other. It's true. Love you guys. I'll see you on Thursday night. Bye bye.